So this week on Dev Life, I was messing around with a bunch of different UI trying to find a look that I like, and I started working on the skills for the skill tree. By the way, I love your feedback. I am making this game for you after all. In the community tab on YouTube, I posted some stuff that I was working on to see what people think and kind of help steer me a direction. Okay, so let me kind of show you what I got. That bar goes up. And when it reaches the top here, that's when you'll get a skill point. And once you get a skill point, you can hit the continue button. And here, I haven't laid these out and I haven't programmed them yet. But you can see there's going to be skills here on the skill tree. And I can use the arrow keys too to move around these. The gold ones are what they're going to look like when they're unlocked. The gray one is what it's going to look like uh, before, you can, before you can buy it. If you have any skill ideas please let me know some skill ideas this is what blood root looks like now i separated the eyeballs in the background so we can do some animations with it so take a look at the eyes here they randomly sort of uh they randomly jitter a little bit to the sides and stuff like that they randomly move oh come on it's i think it's there we go it's like between two and six seconds and then i added the particle effect and separated some stuff there for that blood particle, I animated the individual blood and it looks really sick. So here are my particle settings if you want to take a quick peek. For the shape, I'm using an edge. And then how I got them to animate is it's a texture sheet animation where I picked the individual sprites here. And when I render it, I have it set on a layer that's in between the front and the back. Maybe when you unlock a skill. I don't know what I'm going to do for when you unlock a skill. I was imagining that the bar reaches the top here and maybe this thing um, shatters or something. But what I, something simple that I could do is with the with the blood, I could make it, um, hold on, let's try this like, really high number. I could, <laughs> I could make the blood uh, do something too. I don't know. To animate the eyes, I wanted them to move around randomly. So they're not actually an animation. If they were an animation, you would see it looping but the movement of these is actually random. It's a very simple code. I just move the transform position to two random values, that's it. Which means that the eye's not actually moving from one spot to another, it literally jumps. But it moving that quick, I think makes it creepy. So if I wanted to have it move there uh, over time, I would either do some, uh, something which is a lerp, or I would just do um, move towards. That's a built-in that's built-in code in Unity, and it's super powerful. It makes stuff move towards other stuff. By the way, if the icons are bothering you, you can you can change icon sizes. And if I change this to 3D for some reason, like if your icons are that big, and you're like, dude, what? Up here, you can turn off 3D icons. But the funny thing is that when I turn off 3D icons, the icons can still be kind of annoying if I'm zoomed out. You see how large they are? So what you can do is actually turn 3D icons back on and then you just make them tiny. And that actually might get rid of them in a way that you want to. But anyway, um, what I wanted to show you is that the blood meter here is underneath the tree. And you can see that I, um, I, what I do is I just animate it moving up like this. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool, pretty cool EXP bar. And originally, originally the bar looked like this. And someone pointed out that it feels kind of grim dark. And it kind of hit me that, yes, I am going for a grim dark look in The Last Phoenix. However, I don't want it to be grim dark without saturation. And then I tried using the colors of the tree and the purple and and I'm not so sure if these are good together they're pretty harsh but it does give it a more of a video game sort of uh, feel and I think that colors are more fun than just grays right so um, also it looks more like it's part of the tree and uh, I, I made uh, the new health bar which is it's pretty much this sideways <laughs> this is pretty much what the health bar is but the cool thing is that all the UI then kind of fits the theme of the blood root tree, which is resurrecting the player and is like, and is how the player got gets his abilities. So it is a pretty big part of the game. And if the UI kind of uh, um, uh, fits that theme, I think it's kind of cool. So red and purple are colors I guess I'm gonna be working with in uh, this uh, in this project. 
So here for the skills, it'll be gray when it's locked. Then I'm thinking that it'll turn that brown and purple. I might change the, uh, the icon color, disregard that. But it'll go from gray to this brown and purple color when, it, when you can unlock it and then gold and purple because that gold, it just, it's so satisfying. It feels good. And I wanted gold to be part of, it would be one of, and I wanted gold to be one of the colors in the game. And I wanted gold to be a prominent color in the game. I worked on the skill tree roots. Here was a concept that I liked, which was sort of having a helix. And I tried to make it look a little bit more natural, but I still did it sort of a wavy look like this. Originally, I wanted to make the roots very jagged and look exactly like roots. However, the sort of like um, helix shape um, gave me the idea to make it look a little bit more organic and you, it almost looks like, uh, like, like tentacles, right? And I like the fact that they kind of look like tentacles because in a way it makes them look a little bit um, off-putting, a little bit more alive, a little bit more like a like a creature, you know what I mean? In the Discord, we were discussing the health bar. So up here's the health bar, and under that is the amount of blood you collected, which is kind of like your XP points, or sorry, EXP points. And I was thinking, what if uh, what if it was really pink like this, and then it kind of matched that uh, that blood color? Or I could darken them both, which this is kind of similar to what um, I have in the game. How, or they could <laughs> be really red. There are so many possibilities, and I started to get some feedback, but it was kind of mixed. So I think I'm just gonna go with what feels best to me, which is, I, I, which is, I'm thinking this one or 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 the very red one. I I do like how this one glows. However, I'm thinking it, it draws too much attention to it, and it kind of has this like synth wave neon vibe going, which it looks good, but I don't. It might not fit the game, you know. Okay, so check out the new health bar. It's in the style of the blood root health bar, and I'm taking it. I think this might be a style that I want to do for this game. Lastly, I posted a job posting on Reddit, and a bunch of people replied. So I'm having a few of them work on different concepts for the first world background. And here's one. It looked pretty cool. And here was um, uh, another one from from another artist. This one looks pretty cool too. So I'm planning to see what different artists come up with. So that way I go with the coolest idea. So this artist even drew Evelyn right here, and I love this style. I totally need to remake Felix in that style. Evelyn is uh, I posted her up here. Evelyn is the only character that has been <laughs> that has a portrait finished. Uh, probably next week I'll work on Felix as the main character's portrait and we're going to redesign the main character. If you're a pixel artist or game dev, you should totally join this Discord. There's a pixel art and game dev channel <laughs> right here in a, in a general lounge if you want to promote your game or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And you can follow the progress of the last Phoenix and give your input into the game to help shape it into something you would like to. I'm going to add this grim dark looking health bar I was working on into my itch.io free art assets pack for you to use in your games. You can follow me on itch so you get notified when I update that art assets pack and when I finally, eventually, upload a free Last Phoenix demo. If you're working on something, I hope you do join that Discord community and show us what you're working on. It's, it's motivational to see people working on different projects, so it's a great place for you to be. The rest of this video is going to be sped up pixel art with music for you to work to on your thing. Just keep making progress no matter how small, and you'll eventually get to your goal. I'll see you guys next week. A Devlog!